how to do masking in CapCut. Okay, I did a video about how to do this in Premiere and it was a very tedious process. You're gonna see how much easier it is to do this in CapCut. Now, I am not a big fan of CapCut as an editing software, but I do use CapCut for graphics and effects just because it's so easy. They use a lot of AI. They have a lot of AI tools that can accelerate the process drastically. So, just like in Premiere or any other editing software, we're gonna need two clips. The clip of the person walking from side to side and the clip that you want to show in the background. In this case, I have this astronaut for the clip of the person walking and I have this uh, forest for the background. So when he walks, the forest will show up behind him. Right now, the astronaut layer is covering the forest completely. So just like we did with Premiere, we're gonna find the first clip where we see the astronaut walking and we're gonna increase the size of this image. We're gonna put the astronaut somewhere around here and just like that, we begin. The video will start right here. We'll remove everything from this point on. Okay, this right here will be the clip where we will start coning the back. We need to remove everything behind it. We don't have to do the same thing we did in Premiere. What we did in Premiere took a while. What we can do here is the following. We're gonna duplicate the layer of the astronaut right here. Okay, so once we're here, we're gonna select the upper clip and we're gonna click Auto Removal. This should select the character, but as you see here, it's not perfect. It's only selecting the black area of his suit. So you gotta hit this custom removal. There you're able to kind of like adjust. And as you can see, I just selected that and it fixed it by itself. I don't have to be super precise. And if you made a mistake, just control Z. This one removes, so if you want to remove this part, for example, I see that it got a rock, it removes it. But the beauty of this is that you don't have to do it frame by frame. It understands. By you drawing on top of the character, it's understanding that you want to remove the character and it makes it better. And as you can see here, it's already almost perfect. Maybe in this frame, I can add a little bit for the hand. And the point here is that you don't have to do all those little dots that we did in Premiere. If you don't know how to do it in Premiere, watch my video. It's super tedious. It's way better to do it here. If for some reason you stop seeing that blue area and you want to go back to it, you just got to select the tool right here. What happened here? We selected the astronaut. Everything looks good up to this point, right? So what we have to do next, it's apply. And when you go back and remove the second layer right here, you're gonna notice that now the astronaut walks through. Of course, there's a little errors like this, but that's super easy to fix. Now, the problem is that Mars disappear also in this left area. So what we have to do now is go back to this clip below and add a mask. And we're gonna add a rectangle at mask. We're gonna keep it right here and we're gonna add this uh, keyframe. So at this point, we're gonna make sure that the mask stays always in the middle. And look how fast. You can take a little more time and be more precise, but you don't even have to take too much time doing this. It's so much easier than Premiere. And now when you hit play, you see what happens? We did the same exact effect that we did in Premiere, but in seconds. And of course you can go back and you see this rock right here. We can easily fix that by just selecting this Going back to remove background, select the removal tool, the smart eraser, and just remove this. Like I said, there's a couple things that can be fixed, but it worked pretty well. It's way faster than Premiere and way simpler. And I was rushing through this, but you can really take the time to make it look good. I will highly recommend to use CapCut for this instead of Premiere, even if you have to get the Pro. Because if you think about it, I believe CapCut Pro is only $10. And it's literally going to take you so much more time. Way more than $10 worth your time in Premiere Pro. If you have any other technical questions about editing or you would like to learn how to do any other effect or learn more about the editing industry and how to make money with it, feel free to sign up for my school account. I can help you one-on-one -on -one in there. Also, if you want to watch more videos like this, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube account. And if you like this tutorial, give it a like and drop a comment. I hope you're now able to do this effect on your edits. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.